I'm Jamie. And I'm Mackenzie. And this is our friend Buddy. Buddy's not just an average dog. He's a bloodhound for the American Red Cross. The Red Cross is in all of our communities to help in lots of different ways. Yeah, they do things like help out when there's a fire and they provide food and supplies when a disaster happens. The Red Cross also teaches people about like about things like CPR and Sorry, buddy, this is just for people, not dogs. That's why we're here today, to teach you about something else the Red Cross does. They provide blood for people that are in the hospital. It's one of the most important things the Red Cross does because it helps save people's lives every single day. When there is an accident, sometimes people need blood, and lots of other people need blood when they are in the hospital. Blood is in all of us and it helps keep us alive and well. It is also a very special medicine for people that are sick or injured. Every two seconds, somebody in America needs to get blood. Yeah, Mackenzie, sometimes when people are sick or hurt, the doctor needs to give them blood to get better, just like medicine. The special thing is that when somebody is sick or hurt, they need blood. It has to come from somebody else. Yep, somebody has to donate so that other people can get it from their doctors when they need it. The Red Cross works with people in your community that help donate blood. All types of people volunteer to donate blood. Everyone helps each other. Let's talk about how people donate blood and what it means. Check this out. Here is what to expect at the blood drive. You'll start off by signing in and then a Red Cross employee will ask you a few questions and take a health history from you. After that, you'll have a mini physical where your temperature will be taken along with your iron level and blood pressure. The next part is the actual blood donation part. This part is pretty quick, only about six to 10 minutes. The last part is the canteen where you will enjoy some tasty juice and cookies and relax for a few minutes. Not too hard for helping to save a few lives, huh? The entire process from sign in until canteen takes approximately one hour. Every two seconds, someone in the United States needs blood. When you donate blood, you are a true hero. Thanks for helping to save lives. First, you visit with the Red Cross workers and they will make sure you're healthy to donate. Then you sit in a chair like this. Next, a phlebotomist will help you donate. And then about 10 minutes later, you're done. Then you come over here to the snack area to eat some cookies and juice. Cookies are for blood donors, buddy. They help make you feel good and strong again after you donate a little of your blood. Cookies always help you feel good. If it can help somebody who's sick get better, then it's a really good thing to do. Well, kids can't donate blood yet. They have to be at least 16 or 17, depending on where you live. So we have to wait till high school. But we can be pint-sized heroes and help tell people about giving blood at our schools, right? You're right, Jamie. The Red Cross is having a blood drive right here at your school, and they need all of the kids like us to tell people about it. The Red Cross will give your teachers cards, and your job is to take them home and give them to grown-ups that you know. The cards talk about the blood drive and what it's like to do it. Kind of like what we just did? Yep. Just like that only buddy doesn't get sent home to bug everybody. You can also make your own cards and posters so that people at your school will know about the blood drive. Older kids can help at the blood drive and younger kids can write thank you notes. Everyone can help and that helps our community stay safe. What else should we tell people? There's a few other things that people who want to donate should know. People should feel well and drink lots of water and healthy foods first. Let them like and do it. And it only takes about an hour for the whole time with the Red Cross, including the cookie time. And when you donate blood in an hour, it can help save three patients in the hospital. Great, we can all help out. Talk to your teachers today, and let's help the Red Cross help our community. I'm Jamie. And I'm Mackenzie. And we're